I think I found the, the best seat in the house here. It's on a circle here, and there's the whole circle you can see. You can see the exit, you can see the entrance, you can see the exit again. I'll just go stand on that side for that corner, and then you can see the whole way down. So when they come, it looks pretty sick. How's your back doing temperature wise? Cool down now. Cool down? Yeah. Too bad to take your handles with the handlebars. What? Oh no, I was trying. I've always wanted to do it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've always wanted to do it, but I got. <laughs> I think this is a little too small. So like sometimes I get I'll have to be in fifth gear and I'm full pinning it and the RPMs are going down. <laughs> Hello? No, it's not on that giant it's to South Coast. South Coast? Yeah, we're just gonna go to a place called Waves there, we're just gonna get something. We're gonna I'm waiting for someone to come here at 10, oh, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, but thanks for the invite though, I appreciate it. <laughs> when I get a bigger bark, maybe. <laughs> Enjoy guys. Are you guys going down that way? This way. Oh this way, okay cool. Glass, bro. Sis.
Well, I just didn't have pause. So my friends, just a reminder that if you are good at something, don't do it for free. So if there are fellow videographers out here or anything, set your boundaries. Because it gets to this point where if you keep doing videos and stuff for free, even though it is practice and experience and exposure and all that, at the end of the day, you do need to make a living. And you don't want people to get that, that expectation that you're always just going to do it for free. People just begin to take advantage of you, waste your time and stuff like that. And you spend so much time, we know that taking videos is only a third of the story. The other two thirds is a lot of time and experience and all that. And because you have developed this skill over time, you cannot just keep doing something for free. If you have a profession, it's not like you go to a doctor and you tune them, give me a free consultation. They're just going to say no. They need to earn a living, and so do you. A good way to do it is to do 50% before the shoot and then the other 50% after the shoot. And also a good idea is to specify reason. You can't have the client keep sending these videos back over and over and over and over again because the person wants, I don't know, the task will move three pixels down. It's just knowing your worth as well. And you know that it's taking you years and years and years to get this good at your craft. And then people just expect you to do it for free. That's not, that's not how it should be. 